got a great show for you today. We are talking love, revenge, and betrayal. A twisted trifecta, to say the least. Now, whether it is romance or family, real life or fiction, all of our guests today have stories about all three of those, starting with someone I know we all love, Kenya Moore. Yeah. So, we know, of course, Kenya is one of the biggest stars of the Real Housewife franchise. Kenya is a friend of the show, and she's been here, and we've been on this journey. She's come on our show all five seasons. We've talked about the IVF journey, the birth of her beautiful baby, Brooklyn, but we've also talked about the end of her marriage where Kenya laid her soul bare on this show about how difficult it was after three long years. Well, just a few weeks ago, Kenya announced what she called the world's longest divorce was over. <laughs> and with her breakup from her ex, Mark Daly, Kenya Moore is starting a whole new chapter which includes acting and starring in a new Lifetime movie. It's called Abducted Off the Street, the Carlisha Gaither Story. Tan fam, please welcome our friend, Kenya Moore! <laughs> I love it. I love how people always root for you. <sighs> I, I, I think that's such a great thing. It's see. such a great it thing, is, it is. you know, because the world has seen me go through my ups and downs, my highs and lows, and at my worst. Yeah. But when you're winning, I have them to thank because they're oh. like, go, go, go. So it feels really good. And you are winning. Here you are. You're starring in this film that is so powerful, important story. It is the movie, uh, it, it's a movie, but it's based on the real life abduction of a 22 year old nurse, Carlisha Gaither. You played Carlisha's mom yes. in the film. It is gut wrenching, especially knowing you have a daughter of your own. People always ask me, because I do the crime show, why do people watch these shows? I said, because you say, but for the grace of God, there go I. Mm. Any of these things can happen, and this pulled mm -hmm. you in. Yes. You know, when I first read the script, um, I put it down. After yeah. about 10 pages, I put it down, and I said, this is just too close to home. Having my daughter and knowing that this is an act of violence against a, a young black woman, um, and I felt so afraid. You know, I had this fear and I didn't want to tell that story. Yeah. And then I looked at it again and I said, well, let me look at the whys. Why is because I could possibly bring another black girl home, yeah. safe to yeah. her family <laughs> by telling this story. I know you posted on your Instagram, you said, um, this is a, an amazing role where you strip yourself down. Mm -hmm. After one big pivotal scene, um, you got an ovation from the cast. Yes. Because you really laid your soul into Keisha, the character. Let me play mm -hmm. a clip for our audience. Take a look. My daughter is not gonna end up on there. You hear me? Her name is Carlisha Freeman Gaither. Come on, come on. We need to go, come on. You hear me? Carlisha Gaither! I mean, first of all, you're, you're a phenomenal actress. Thank but you. I know that real life was happening behind the scenes. You're filming this, you're auditioning yeah. for this role, and you were going through the divorce yes. um, that you call the world's longest divorce. Yes. <laughs> Three years. No one gets married. Well, some people do, knowing they're going to get divorced. <laughs> I know that you did not. No. You got in this marriage yes. for the long haul. Absolutely. I was 46 years old when I got married. So I was waiting for the right guy. And I thought that I finally found my Prince Charming. I was so in love. And we got engaged after about seven months of, of dating. And it just seemed like it just started crumbling right before my eyes. And I was just losing my family that I prayed for my whole life. I what wanted... does that feel like? Because I mean, you're like, you know, we talk about the prayer and you pray for the one, right? Yes. You think. And then you say, oh, wow, God answered my prayer. Yes. The universe answered, so here's the one. And then one day you wake up and you look over at that pillow and you're like, God did not answer no. my prayer. Well, 
You know, everything is in divine order. Yeah. And sometimes you have to see the bad in order to see the good in someone wow. else. And I just feel like he wasn't the one. But mm. guess what I got? A beautiful, yes. beautiful, perfect child. Yes. And she deserves to be happy. She deserves everything. <laughs> she is, first of all, she is She's the biggest it. personality in the room. <laughs> she really is. <laughs> and you you have sole custody of Brooklyn now. I do. And you're the primary parent. Yes, mm -hmm. after, after three years. Yeah. And having to go all the way to going to trial, which he didn't show up for. You know, and it's just like you're just wasting our time and money and resources because that could be going toward her education or things that she loves to do, like travel. You talk on your Housewife show about your family relationship, mm -hmm. your maternal mother, the struggles yes. behind the scenes. How do you explain? I know she's precocious. Yes. And, and, and even when we see the other parent a certain way, the child, you always want to see their other parent in the best light. Yes. But you're in the headlines. Yes. And I know you said he was a FaceTime parent. He is. I feel like he's been a FaceTime father. Even now, we're in New York. He's, you know, across the bridge, and he hasn't made time to see her for two days, and we're, we leave tomorrow. So, and that's, you know, he hasn't seen her since last year, May. Um, so that's difficult, but she loves her dad, and I want to make sure that she loves him. Um, and this is all she knows right now. Um, and I believe that men and fathers they instill self-esteem in our, our little girls. It's just my belief, it may not be real, but it's what I feel. And I just need him to do one job, just to love our little girl, just one job. And, and, and you know, obviously, in, in these kinds of interviews, this live show, I want to make sure that the audience knows, um, people always have a different side of the story, right? Mm -hmm. So he, there's his version of the mm -hmm. story. You both have been on the show before together yes. when you were in the relationship. And this is nothing new. You've said this before, yeah. that he, in your view, is an absent father. Mm -hmm. How do you navigate that to make sure she sees the joy that she is loved and that yeah. mama is there? <laughs> and, and how does that make you feel? You know, I just, everything that I do is for my daughter. Um, even taking on a role like this, I want to teach her how to be strong. I want to teach her how to be focused if something ever happens to her, what to do. I've taught her how to fight. I've taught her how to hide. I've taught her how to dial 911. She knows her address. She know, you know, she knows all of the things she's well equipped for survival and being a strong, focused black woman. Yeah. Um, in terms of being loved, I think that I think that the world knows how much I love my daughter. Yeah. She's everything to me. You know, Tamara, she's your we, best friend. Tamara, we went, we she's my best friend. Right. Um, she knows it. <laughs> <laughs> this is her fifth birthday party. Well, okay, so when your mom is a legendary <laughs> pageant winner. Does she, are you prepping her? Because this looks like pageant prep to me. <laughs> no. Am I the only one? I feel no. like I see pageant prep in this picture. No, I want her to be a rocket scientist. I don't want her to well, be a pageant. Well, she can be both. <laughs> we, she we, could be both. She can be a rocket scientist, yes. but I, I feel like I see pageant prep. She definitely Kenya, has don't a you big... tell, the, tell me the truth. Yeah, she has a big personality. <laughs> she definitely does. She has what it takes, but she's so compassionate. I think she can, she can do anything she wants to do. I want to make sure she knows that. Yeah, she can do anything. <laughs> yes. um, when you uh, talk about the, this housewife franchise, right? So mm -hmm. you are one of the biggest stars of the franchise. Mm -hmm. The big news that came out um, just the other day is that Candy Burris, who is the longest running, member yes. of the fan tri franchise. Is, I think of uh, all of them. Of all of them mm -hmm. that she said Consecutively, yes. she's out. Yes, I mean, we love Candy. Candy is one of my best friends on the show, off the show. She's supportive, she's amazing. She's a great business yeah. mogul. And she's been a friend of our show and we hung out in Atlanta. She is amazing. And yes, you didn't come yeah. to my house, so I need to talk to you about okay, that. We're gonna talk about